Hey guys, this is Zoe from Tag Explorers, and welcome to part 2 of our learning Turing tutorials. Today we're uh, going to do a very basic tutorial, just uh, going over some more variables, and also learning another function, which is const, which is constant. Uh, so yeah. Before we start off, um, I would like to show you the website, if you guys don't know it, it's soldawa.com slash Turing, and the link is in the description bar. Um, I updated the website to make it a lot better, and as you can see, I added new stuff. Basically, if you don't catch what's on the video, um, and uh, you need a little more help, some written help, uh, you can just check out this website. I have uh, tips and uh, a lot of other things. It has explanations for everything, so just in case you don't get it in the video, it's all on the website. Also, I have a new result area where you can actually see how the program is supposed to look like. Uh, once it's executed. So yeah, that's pretty cool. So thatwaycom slash Turing will have it there. Okay, uh, so if you go, go down and scroll down to the website, you can see our part two uh, tutorial, and uh, here's the programming for it. So basically, uh, let's just see what this does first. Um, so it asks us, what's your name? So I'm just gonna say tech. Oh, wow, I can't even spell that. <laughs> so name is tech. So it says, okay tech, enter a number and I will multiply it by pi. So let's just under, enter um, about 10 maybe. And guess what? 10 multiplied by 5 is 31.45927. So obviously we know that's right. <laughs> Okay, so let's look, uh, take a look at this program now. Um, at the first, we have our variables. You always have to declare your variables variables uh, before you put them in your program so that the, tur the Turing program knows what it's doing. Um, so first, we have uh, their name, which is a string. A string is basically just text. Uh, there's uh, another thing that string is only uh, a number, or sorry, a word without spaces. So if you were to put your full name and have a space there, uh, it would not work. Only your first name or whatever uh, was before the space, that would only be included. Second, we have a ver number, which is a real number. It's just like an integer, only it allows decimals. Integers are only whole numbers, real numbers are decimals, such as 3.14, as we'll see next. Um, and then we have our uh, third variable, which is result num. If you just put result, as I, uh, as I, um, I already experienced before, it actually, result is a function entering, so it gives you an error and it says, wait, what, you can't use it like that. So yeah. And that is also a reel. Um, the the reason as to why I'm using reels is because it's much easier to do arithmetic with it, and uh, it, it's just going to be easier in the long run. Finally, we have our new um, little new thing here. It's called const, which is basically a constant. It is it acts just like a variable, and it's uh, it's declared just like a variable. Only it's a constant number, but you have to assign it. So let me show you that. As you may have guessed, this colon is what separates the the, the name from your the type. So uh, you have the variable ver, ver, then you have name or whatever name you want the variable to be colon, and then the type. So string int int real. There's a lot of other ones. You can just Google it. Um, so yeah. Finally, uh, for declaring and assigning a uh, a value to the variables, we use a colon and an equal sign. So in this case, it will say that a constant is called pi, and its value is a real number, and the value is 3.14159265. So that's obviously pi. So what it's going to do is it's going to enter on the screen, what is your name? It will then ask you, get name, just like we learned last time in the last tutorial. So what it's going to do is assign a value to name, which is, in our case, what we did was tech. And it's going to say OK, and then it's going to add uh, this this name on here. It's very important that you use these commas. Remember that whatever is in the red, or blue right now when I'm highlighting it, is whatever's in the, col er, in the quotations is what will be on the screen, except for variables. So as you can see, I added spaces between my variables uh, because of the fact that it will just end up as like one long retarded word if I didn't put it on. 
Okay, second, it, it gets the number that you want to multiply by, and then we do another arithmetic. So, result num doesn't have a, a, ver a, a value yet. So, what we're going to do is we're going to say, okay, you have name, you have number, well, we won't need name, but you have number, and you have the constant of pi. What you're going to do is multiply the number by pi. So, this is how you do the arithmetics. In this, uh, in this case, multiplication is... Uh, shift or sorry, yeah, shift and eight, which will be like the asterisk sign. Uh, there's a lot of different things you can do, like two plus two, which is like the plus and equal sign. You can do uh, two, well, two divided by two, stuff like that. It's just regular, like what you would enter in a calculator, a scientific calculator. Okay, and then finally, it's gonna have your result uh, sentence, which is guess what dot dot dot. It's gonna add a space, and then uh, remember these these commas are very important. Uh, notice that I don't need a comma at the end of result num because of the fact that I don't have anything after. If I were to put text here, then I would need another comma, an additional comma. So yeah, just when you're putting variables, you need a comma to separate them and make sure that uh, this is a string, this is a comma. And uh, this is a string, this is a comma, or a variable, and this is a string. So yeah. And that's actually what our uh, code is about. It's pretty simple, and that's about it. It's just a very simple code, but it does a lot of cool stuff. And imagine what you could do. You can make, like, average, um, like, counters. You can make, like, mini calculators. And I think that's what we will actually do in a couple of videos ahead. So, yeah, before, we're just going to learn a little more stuff, and then we're um, going to move on to that. So, yeah, I'm Soul for Tech Explorers, and I will see you next time. And uh, remember, to, remember to just check out the site. It has very interesting information, and yeah.